What do you guys use here to protect us against bears? And We've got the slugs, so bear slugs. Well, we're using these home defense. And what's in them? They're. It's a. It's a shotgun round with a slug. Would you know? Somewhat will hurt and kill a bear. Supposedly instantly. It'll kill a bear. Yep. I thought you guys had some kind of firecracker thing you shot off first. We do. But, uh, so right here is a firecracker round. This is old one. We actually don't got. We don't got the firecracker on, but yeah, these are firecrackers. They go about, let's say, 50 yards and then blow up. Just a, just a noisemaker. And is it, how effective is that in keeping the bears away? It works. You know, the first couple, uh, first couple times it comes at you, it'll scare it. But the bear will realize this ain't doing nothing to it. So they recommend us not to use these. We used to use them all the time. Nowadays, they don't they don't recommend recommend using these. So, so you have to use the real stuff. Yep. Yeah. So I'll put these slugs in the gun. Have you ever had to shoot a polar bear to protect people? Not on the clock. Not during work. And hopefully, I'm not going to. But so what kind of gun is this? Off off the clock. It's a Remington 870 pump action 12 gauge. So it it holds seven seven rounds in the in the magazine and one in the chamber. So you could have like eight rounds if you wanted in this gun. But we don't put no ammo in the chamber. We just I'll have five slugs for today. Maybe I'll put one firecracker. In. Yeah, so this is what... And if you see a bear, will you have time to decide what you're going to shoot? Oh, yeah. If anything, if I don't have time, I'll let the firecracker out, the round out, as quick as I can, and then use the, you know, the slug. And If he's close, and a lot of bears are curious, if if he's coming at us to attack us, we'll, we'll be able to tell he's going to be aggressive running at us. But most bears are just curious, so we gotta. If we see a bear, we keep our distance. Try to let him just walk walk past us. You know, leave him alone. If how close do they get sometimes? Depending if we're around something they want. Um, if we're around uh, like food, what they're eating, you know, we'll back off. We'll we'll pull away if we see the bear coming. And we'll, you know, give him his distance, let him eat the food. Um, bears, you know, got a sense of something that they ate before they're going to come eat it. Hopefully the bear, if we do see a bear, they smell us. We're not food, food to them. A lot of times they'll walk right past us. They're on a mission smelling something they want to eat. So they'll walk right past us and we'll try to leave them alone. And how close will they get to you? Depending how close we are to the food or if we're in his path where he's going. Uh, a lot of times the bear is going to be more scared of us than we are of it. So we'll let that. We'll try not to bother, bother the bears at all. If we see a bear, we'll keep our distance, drive around it. Try not to bother it in any way. And if he's coming towards us, we'll for sure group up and back off. If he's coming towards us, we'll get ready to, you know, we'll just slowly back off from it. I don't, I mean, we don't want to shoot the bear. We want to just, you know, protect our species of the polar bear and just let them be, let them do what they, you know, they got their food out there, they'll eat and we're not, we're not there to hunt the bear unless we're really hungry and we're starving and we'll eat the bear, but no. That's not what we do on the clock with the USC. So I'm just here to protect you. That's why we're bringing the shotgun. And yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah.